What's up, agents? Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Cassie Mendoza reset. I do these every single week, right off the, the normal vendor reset. If you guys did check, that was yesterday. Today is Cassie. So, first thing you guys need to know, everyone keeps asking still, is where do you find the snitch? Because you need to find the snitch before Cassie Mendoza is unlocked. So, the main places I normally go to is the Truman Safe House, run just out of there, right by this outcast loot box. Go there, unlock it, get some loot, and the snitch will be just further up here by a green car. The next place I normally go to, which I found him this week, because sometimes if there's enemies around these places, the snitch will run away. Fast travel to the shop safe house and go just east of the mast control point right over there. Those two places are normally where she pops up for me. I don't even need to go over, but you can just go just go west over here of Lincoln Memorial uh, Mission. That's also the third place. Normally you can get her within three shots. Sometimes you can't, but go to your other character or log out and log back in because it can be quite annoying. Then before you go all, all the way there to find her, uh, because sometimes she will be closed. So she is open uh, for 12 hours now. She will close in 12 hours time. So just make sure you guys come and get what you need from her before that time. So let's get into it. Have a look. And yeah. So we've got the Baker's Dozen, which is what, what used to be one of the best guns. And to be honest, guys, a lot of people love using this gun, especially on console. So if you guys need this, it's still very strong. They reverted the nerf, so it does a lot of damage. I don't have a rifle build on, so just don't mind me. You can get this up to 600k base damage. So it's very, very nice. It's got perfect lucky shot. Magazine capacity is increased by 30%. Missed shots from cover have a 100% chance to return to the magazine. Very good. To be honest, I would prefer using boomerang, but it's up to you guys. It's very, very good, especially on console. So contractor's gloves. These were best in slot. These are interesting because they have max repair skills, or pretty much almost max repair skills, and obviously damage to armor, which is very nice. I don't really rate these too highly at the moment. They did get a quite a big nerf, but they're still... A very good especially if you wanted to make a healer hybrid kind of build so this would be great for that to so come and pick them up ongoing directive backpack 11.1 percent weapon damage 15k health this is a very good backpack uh, if you guys are looking for one because it, that weapon damage is not that bad trust me it could it could be worse considering how badly the vendor resets have been lately so negotiators dilemma chest piece weapon damage 9.5 14k health this is very very nice uh, to be honest guys i would prefer to use the backpack but it is here if you want it hard wide gloves 15.7k health with a skill tier of course tip of the spear knee pads with weapon damage 10.8 and 8.5 hazard strikers holster 9.1 weapon damage 6.1 explosive resistance then hard wide mask 9.6 well percent skill haste so before we move on to the last pieces i'd like to say guys um, please make sure uh, to leave a like and subscribe to me and please go and click on jesse wolf's video she has just released one she is my other half if you guys watch the live stream she is releasing like top secret raid information leaked raid information that no one else has seen about the law and the details of the new foundry raid which is releasing very soon possibly how to even beat it so she, i will leave a link in the description of her video and at the end of the video so please go show us some love and support uh, it's, it's a really really good video her channel is amazing she covers division 2 content so that, that is jesse wolf okay let's just move on to the rest of it so we're going to be getting the police m4 which has got max out swap speed, very low rolls there, on empty, 1886 rifle with boomerang. Uh, it's, like I said, boomerang is very, very strong if you've got high crit damage. Uh, this gun is okay. I just think the mag size is a bit small. 511 backpack with safeguard. This could be pretty decent if you know what you, what kind of build you want to make. Maybe incoming repairs with a healer build could be interesting. Sockle of concern, knee pads, mid rolls, weapon handling, offensive mod, 4.3% crit chance. And then for the shield, 4% shield health. So that's it for Cassie, guys. Please make sure to consider becoming a member. Go to my main page, click the join button. And yeah, like, like always, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing everybody in the next video. Peace out, agents.